And it takes you six or seven days to shoot a show. And you have how many shows a year in Perry Mason? In the well, season? Well, we average year? now about 30 or 32 shows a year. How much time do you get off in uh, any given period of work? That would vary depending upon the problems that have ensued during the season. You're a great man for semantics. How many hours a day do you have to yourself? Uh, I have four usually during the uh, four or five, and I usually use those for sleep. It's an incredibly heavy workload for this. Uh, it's almost an impossible workload. Well, how long will Perry Mason keep going? Uh, I mean, it must be your choice, surely. You're well, we're, we're, this is the uh, 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 my final year as far as my contract is concerned. I have no idea what I'm going to be offered as far as another year, if any. No one said anything about it yet. And we're into the middle of the... If the terms are right, uh, not that I would dare to intrude in your private business, but if the terms are right, would you keep Perry Mason going, going another seven years? Uh, I, I would say no. Wouldn't uh, it drive you out of your mind? No, not necessarily. It would have, if it was going to drive me out of my mind, it would have driven me out of my mind in the second year. Uh -huh. uh, now, no. Tell me this, though. Do you have the right of veto on scripts if you don't happen to like it, if it's kind of illogical or seems a bit silly? I have uh, certain rights which are not contractual as far as being written down in black and white. Um, but after you become involved in a project as long as I've been involved in it, why, uh, there are certain things which you must know as well as anyone else. And um, if you can argue the point successfully, you win the point, so mm. you have the right then. Well, let's talk personally. What has Perry Mason done to Raymond Burr's private life? Have you found that you've become a little bit, uh, may not be the right psychiatric term, uh, you know... Psychiatric? I mean, if you if you take another personality in your private life... Oh, have I you see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, I see what you mean. No. Has it changed you? Uh, well, I'm apt to uh, come home at one time or another, perhaps, and say, has anyone been here today? And uh, they have maybe say, would say no, and I'd say, well, what are those car tracks doing? <laughs> uh, in the driveway, you know? No, but uh, by and large, I've had the opportunity of playing uh, many roles and a great variety of roles. But there are many uh, people through the years, but I've fortunately been able to drop the role at the end of the time it was being played and uh, return to whatever life I was, uh, I enjoyed. How many people come up to you like I might do just now and say, a little bit snidely, you know, we think you're wonderful as Perry Mason, but gee, we used to hate you more and like you better when you were the heavy, the murderer in the movies in Rear Window. Well, you see, we have a fortunate thing called television today. I made 90 motion pictures between 1946 and 1956, and they're all playing on television, so my career in those things still continues. Mm -hmm. 90 motion pictures? 90, yes. The Rear Window was one of your big ones, wasn't it? Rear Window, Place in the Sun, Pitfall. There, were, there, were quite, there was... It, to make 90 pictures in 10 years is uh, a, a great many pictures, which means that all of them were not Rear Window and no. Place in the Sun and those kind of pictures, but there were some good ones among them. But were you not uh, invariably the heavy? Oh, invariably. Did you like that heavy business? It gave, well, I began to run out of ways of being bad. Yeah, but you don't get a chance at all now. You're, you're a gracious gentleman at all, on all occasions. In oh, you can, you can still be bad. <laughs> Back to the Raymond Burr, of whom we're very proud, because uh, I work for the radio station in New Westminster, and we claim you as a New Westminster boy. You still have strong family connections there, don't you? Very much so. I was born on Queens Avenue, and my grandparents had one of the oldest houses in, in uh, New Westminster on Royal, which is still standing, in which my parents live now. And uh, I uh, love New Westminster. And know more about it, I suppose, than any part, other part of Canada. Although I left when I was very young, mm. I keep returning, and uh, um, I am... The, the kind of ties you have, the same with yours in Scotland. How did you guess I came from Scotland? Because I asked you before we went on the air. <laughs> uh, but um, I know many people from Glasgow, so you almost can't fool me there.
Now, uh, what about Canada at large, though? You first developed your acting career, if I remember correctly, in the United States, did you not? Well, I... Yes, I did. Give us a little bit of the start of uh, Raymond Burr, actor. Well, Raymond Burr, actor, is the same as any other actor. Uh, you start in school and in church, uh, doing the church productions and the uh, grammar school productions, uh, or the primary school productions and the secondary school productions, and uh, and in church. I was always very much involved in church and school productions. What was your went from there. first professional part? Oh, I think I played Caiaphas, the high priest, in a church production, uh, which was professional mm -hmm. because we were paid mm -hmm. uh, for all our own expenses. I had to buy my own beard for that. And I was, I think, 11 years old at the time. And a beard amounted to a great deal of money. But before you became established as an actor, what kind of jobs did you actually work at? I've done uh, a great many things. I uh, uh, was a forest ranger in the United States, or so worked in, with the Forest Service for two years, digging ditches and uh, building roads and dams and fighting fire. I worked as a, a sheep and cattle ranch in New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, herding sheep and cattle and fen building fences. Uh, I was a teacher at one time. I. Uh, have done just about everything you can do. Well, now, we know you're going into your seventh season of Perry Mason, and you're not sure if it'll last another seven or another one or another ten, but you must have plans of your own, for your own company. You have a couple I've of... I've had plans of my own, Jack, since the first season of Perry Mason. You can start a successful uh, television show or a show and shoot uh, for success in that show. You don't know whether it's going to be mm -hmm. taken up uh, by the public at that particular time. Uh, however, uh, those plans have remained. I have my own production company now. It's called Harbor Productions. We'll be producing uh, shows uh, and series, motion pictures, plays. Uh, Anything specific in mind? Albums. There are a great many things specific in mind, but until we are able to uh, decide on what is going to be the next season, uh, I'm not able to really discuss what might be specific. As one of the prominent actors with roots in Canada, do you think it's possible for us, we keep dreaming that we can develop a, a live film or live independent uh, television filming organizations in Canada, but nobody ever seems to be able to do it. Have you ever explored this field? Yes, from the time I was a very young man, I, um, uh, very young, I suppose, I was too young to even contemplate uh, this kind of attitude. Uh, I have thought that a uh, industry here could be started and could be very successful. But and the studios were first built in Vancouver here in the motion picture days. I was very hopeful of being part of that effort. Uh, I have tried many times uh, in as far as motion pictures are concerned, with some very good stories, we thought at the time, to interest groups of people here in Canada where we could make it a Canadian production. You mean get them to put up some money? Well, money and uh, interest. Interest is the most important thing. Uh, so that you wouldn't make it a production company that uh, superimposed itself on uh, a Canadian group. Any results? Results were always very dim. Why do you think such a lack of response in your efforts in that direction? Well, I don't know whether there were a lack of my res uh, 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 lack of response to my efforts. I think perhaps uh, we might arrive today at a time where the confidence of the Canadians in their own product could be assumed. Uh, I would be delighted to be any part of any such project if enough interest could be generated here in this country.